One method to provide increased security for your website or application is to apply several best practices for the use of SSL and TLS certificates and protocols. First, let me define these two primary classifications of protocols. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer and is the older or original protocol. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security and is the newer protocol that should be used at all times. Both are protocols that provide a secure connection between the internet browsers and websites, allowing you to transmit private data. Cipher suites are cryptographic algorithms used to negotiate the security settings for a network connection using SSL or TLS. Proper private key and certificate management is a critical part of securing your use of SSL and TLS. When creating certificates, you'll always want to use 2048-bit private keys. 1,024-bit keys or less are no longer supported, and 3,072-bit keys or greater have limited support. It is extremely important to protect those private keys. Ensure they are securely stored and limit access to the private keys to the smallest possible group within your organization. You'll want to make sure you obtain certificates from a reliable certificate authority. Komodo and Symantec are the largest CAs and both provide great support. When obtaining a certificate from a CA, you'll want to use strong certificate signature algorithms. The SHA-1 algorithm is no longer supported after 2016. Therefore, all new certificates should use the SHA-2 algorithm. Many modern browsers have already been updated to display to visitors a warning for websites using the SHA-1 algorithm or 1024-bit private keys. Proper configuration of SSL and TLS is crucial to ensure the security of your websites and applications. You'll want to make sure you deploy with valid certificate chains, which would include the server certificate, intermediate certificate, and root certificate. Some devices require a full chain to be installed in order to function properly. Use secure protocols at all times, which would require you to disable all SSL protocols, and enable TLS version 1, TLS version 1.1, and TLS version 1.2. As of October 2014, the SSL protocol is no longer considered secure, and the TLS protocol should be used in its place. Use secure cipher suites at all times, which would require you to disable all ciphers less than 128 bits and all RC4 ciphers. You can, however, keep triple DES 112-bit ciphers at the end of the cipher list to provide compatibility for old clients, such as Windows XP. You'll want to control cipher suite selection by setting a preferred order on the server and setting the most secure ciphers at the top of the list. Application design is one phase in which you can improve the security of your website with proper use of TLS. With some websites, it may make sense to encrypt 100% of the website. If a majority of the content of the website is sensitive in nature, you'll want to force the use of TLS. Avoid mixed content in which a page is using TLS, but certain external resources are loaded without the use of TLS. Encrypt all content on the page, which will help prevent man-in-the-middle attacks. Understand and acknowledge that third-party trust resources you are using on your website or application. You should ask yourself, do you trust this third-party provider? When you trust a third-party provider, you're allowing them to load information on your website, which could be used in a malicious manner. If possible, deploy HTTP strict transport security. This feature is supported by most modern browsers and forces the use of TLS on your website. Your web server must send an HTTP response header to activate this feature of the browser. Always disable caching of sensitive content. Many organizations utilize load balancers or caching proxies that can cache content for quicker delivery to the user's browser. You should mark all sensitive content as private with the use of an HTTP response header to ensure they are not cached. I encourage you to use the Qualys SSL Labs Health Report to help you gauge your current TLS security posture. With this report, along with the information I've just provided, you'll be able to make improvements with your use of TLS. Thank you.